Okay, Akumado Crypto here with another Bitcoin update. So guys, we are now 304, 304 days in this correction. And this is, let me just update it really quickly. So what is happening here, guys? As I said yesterday, this could be a breakout of this E-Wave. I'm I am considering it. This doesn't mean that we have uh, that we have ended that Bitcoin has ended its correction. Okay, even though we have finished uh, above, not really above this upper line trend, this upper trend line here. But this huge week here, I was expecting a bit. Uh, Okay, we have still time for it to to get to to get to new lows. Nevertheless, I think that we need to account for this movement here, and perhaps we are gonna have a bullish momentum. Okay, we are gonna. This is the start of a five waves formation. Okay, this might be a C wave. We're gonna talk about this this C wave in a while. Okay, remember. We stopped at this 50%. Again, as I said yesterday, this is not a coincidence. Uh, this is bit stamp. This is not using tether. Okay, so I am ignoring the, the, the tether FUD. Uh, we have stopped at this strong resistance. This is a 50% of this movement here. Okay, the Fibonacci retracement here. This is the 50%. We have tried to break it three times and Moreover, we have the TD sequential. Um, let's see what is it. We haven't we haven't get to this resistance here, okay? But we tried this support a lot of times. We tried to to go down and break it, okay? So, um, um, definitely this triangle here is is happening, okay? It has actually it has ended. So, and. Um, it's, it's difficult to argue that we don't have this triangle here, but it's possible and it's really likely that we haven't finished it. And what if we have this X here? And this is a really good, awesome count, actually. I would like you guys to pay attention here with me. Bear with me because I'm going to do this. A, this structure here would be our b and then we would have a c here to put this x here totally possible totally uh sideways we would have here <clears throat> an a b the triangle would be this wave b here and then we would have the wave c here going up now this is this would be just the beginning of the wave c and then we would finish wave z in the future okay we would have yet to get to those levels here, to those lower lows here. This is a, a, a contender, okay? This is indeed an, uh, a possibility, guys. Uh, let me, because if we, let me show you guys this, the, 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 the wave formation, it's quite the, the, the it's quite the move formation that we see when we are, when we look at the, the triple combos okay perhaps i would change something here as well yes i would put x here okay but what if right what if we have an x here what if this break break down this break out of e here it's just a b wave and then i would have this bullish momentum but only to get to this 50 percent perhaps to go down again would test this level here that would be 99 k almost 10 k people would be bullish and then down down it would go okay yes it's uh, i'm presenting these possibilities this this is a bearish count okay this would this would uh, get us to a really lower target here like perhaps 4k okay and um, only time will tell, okay? We need to focus 
on what we have now. What we have now is that we have this breakout here, okay? As we can see here, this is my this is my two hours again beat stamp, not using tether. Uh, most of my anal most most of my anal most of my analysis I, I do on beat stamp. I, I don't I trade on beat phoenix, but I don't really I, I don't really consider those uh, weird movements when we have it on bit phoenix because it's everything related to tether now right it's um but again this 50 percent we try we try to break it three times this is a huge resistance but we can't we can't ignore the fact that we have here a one two three and then we are now in this four perhaps a five year going up we can ignore that actually when we have the fib extension here considering this e the the, big, the end of this e and this uh, week here as the end of wave one and then extending it uh here we have stopped it okay the movement roughly at the 200 okay the we have uh indeed we have a uh, try to break it but we, we cross the 200 here and we are now retracing the extension is it, it it's possible it, it, it's likely actually right because what else would we we talk what else if we don't finish this one two three four five and now we are in this region of the six one eight six five percent doing this sideways movement it's going to take a while to finish this right after such a after such a, a, a strong movement going up this is 2 hours don't forget that okay we have i know it's difficult to count 1 2 3 4 5 actually it's not that difficult it's it, that would be a leading diagonal okay if we go to lower the lower um lower time frames this would be an abc then we would have a three here that's almost impossible to count then uh, a b c perhaps to touch here the 618 65 percent okay i would expect it to go down at least for to make something like a, a bearish flag here something like this okay and then touching this 618 65 and then going up this would be our 38 20 percent trying to try this resistance here that would that would give us okay uh, a bullish momentum indeed that would be like um 7k yeah i have been calling this 7k 71 7 100 okay it's not impossible and it's likely just because we had this movement so it's all about this FUD, we, I, we don't know. It might be just the end of this E wave. It's not, it, it doesn't mean that we have finished the, the, the correction, but it means that we have finished this triangle. Guys, this triangle is clear for me. Okay, this is Bitfinex. Bitfinex, I have another count because uh, we need to consider this as a one and a two. Uh, and I'm gonna ignore it for the moment. Uh, Let's see if I have another beat stamp here. This is beat Phoenix as well. But um, uh, this is the weekly chart. Well, let's take a look at this. This is the daily. Daily is almost impossible to see the count, but this looks like a, a third wave going up. Okay. And then we have the, the wave four here going down. We are going to need to wait for it. And it's pretty easy to play this, guys pretty easy if you want you just aim for here the six five uh, six eight six one eight six five percent you buy here okay and then you you wait for a double top here okay and then you put your stop loss at the at this level here of the wave one a little bit below and you have a, a risk reward ratio of eight pretty easy you're not gonna lose a lot of money. Actually, you're not gonna, it's a risk of a reward of a way eight for one. It's a good risk, uh, uh, risk reward ratio. 
okay? Remember, uh, we haven't we, we, we haven't um, went beyond the level of the price level of uh, of uh, wave one. So this is a this is a level that we should be paying attention because of the Elliott wave rules. I would put my stop loss actually here, right? At the bot at the top of the the wave one. If you want a really tight stop loss, you can enter a bit higher, like here at, at exactly at the 618. That would be 6300, 6300, 6400 if you want. Okay. And then I would put my stop loss a bit lower here. That, 12, 13. Yeah. 13. It's uh, your risk reward ratio. Okay. If you want a stop a tighter stop loss. It's a, it's, a, it's a good play, okay? It's a, it's a nice risk reward. It's it, just to be a, a bull for a change, okay? Why? Because actually, I think that we need to finish this movement. I think that bulls are in a they have a they have a momentum now. That's the thing, and uh, we 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 should we shouldn't ignore it, okay? I don't think that we have finished the correction. I think that we have something like this, okay? That we have this structure here is an A, then we would have a B here with a triangle, then we would have a, a ending diagonal here perhaps for us X. Remember X is a, it's it's a composed of any trees. So in this case it would be a flat tree. We might have a running flat. Okay, but this would be our X, then we would have a Z. Okay, if if and only if we fail to, to break this 50%, but perhaps we go like this and then we would disregard this X and then we would consider the correction as really over. Okay, this is a possibility, but I, we need to annul, uh, we, we need to annul it. Uh, we need to um, <laughs> we need to account for this triangle here and that we have indeed break out of this E wave. I can't see this otherwise, and that we might have this bullish momentum that it's gonna tell us a lot about what's gonna what's gonna happen next. We have this huge resistance here, that is the TD sequential resistance. Yes, this red line here. That is six one, six one hundred, six k, okay. And that upper resist upper. I'm sorry. This is a support. It's because it's red. I, I say resistant, but this is the support six one hundred. And we have this resistance that is seven one hundred. We are in. We, we we are within this range for like the whole September the whole, since August, right? Since actually. 5 August, we are within this range here. We try to break here, where I'm calling wave B, but now, since um, September, the whole month, we were within this range. Trying, and we and, um, throughout the September, we try to break this support here, 6100, three times. So that's why I think that we have now a bullish momentum. Okay, we try to break it, guys. Three times the support, and we failed. Okay, three times. One, two, three. Actually, four here, if you want. And this is this was August. Okay, but in September we tried three times. So I think that we now have a bullish momentum. Okay, and I am gonna be prepared, of course. If we are, if we have indeed this one, two, three, four, five, I'm gonna enter in this four here. Uh, 6400, 63, 6300, uh, 6350, and then I'm gonna aim my stop loss, really, a really tight stop loss, and then I'm gonna take my profit. Uh, perhaps we forget to 7k, okay? When we need, again, I'm, I'm telling you guys, we need to acknowledge that we have this triangle and that we broke out, we, we broke out of this, okay? I think that's it. Um, thank you guys for watching. And if you haven't followed, the, if you haven't followed me on Twitter, please consider doing so. And we have our Discord group. 
Crypto Trader Educational Institute. Join us there. We have the link, the invite in the description. And give me a thumbs up and subscribe. Thanks again for watching. Have a wonderful day and we we'll see each other next tomorrow. <laughs> so later. Cheers.